Hey there! Now that you have selected your preferred route, it's time to tell you how to report the progress of your practical experience to CPA Ontario. You must report your PE through the online tool called PERT. First things first. Immediately after you register as a CPA Ontario student, you should log into PERT and set your PER start date. This step is very important as it enables you to start reporting your PE. Delaying your reporting can result in not being able to claim some of your relevant work experience. Once you set your PER start date, there are two important components to reporting your PE. First, your progress must be documented in PERT so we can make sure you're on track. Doing so will enable you to get valuable feedback from your mentor and CPA Ontario. Approximately every six months, you must document your current work experience in PERT and meet with your mentor to discuss your progress. You can meet over a coffee or set up a virtual meeting. Follow these steps until you meet your PE requirements. Second, we want to hear from you. We want to know about the technical and enabling competencies you are developing in your current role and how you are utilizing these skills. You will need to report this progress to us, CPA Ontario, but this is done differently depending on your route. If you're in the PPR route like Alice, you only have to report to CPA Ontario once. At the end of the training program, this is because you are following a training program that has already been pre-approved by CPA Ontario. If, however, you are in the EVR route like Jason, you will need to check in with us after the first 12 months of your PE journey. Or sooner, if you have been asked to do so by CPA Ontario. These check-ins enable us to provide important feedback on your PE progress. You will then report to CPA Ontario at the end of your PE once you have met all your requirements. Your supervisor will need to verify the duties you reported. Additional reporting will be required if you change employers, if your role and responsibilities have changed significantly, or if you're requested to do so by CPA Ontario. Next up, why do you need a supervisor and mentor? 